Tech 1302 here. I want to do a quick video on Dorman versus Ford intakes. Had a truck I put an engine in. It's a 542 valve. It's a Dorman intake. The intake started leaking shortly after I put the uh, motor in the truck. It had been replaced previously. Leaking water here. Come down through here. Water in the spark plug. Tubes start skipping. So, I told myself, let's see what Ford got to offer. Factory intake, $50 more than buying one of those. Well, first thing we see is we start to compare them. The Dorman doesn't actually put thread inserts in the bolt holes. They give you screws. And these things are so bad about stripping out once you start putting core packs on it. Same thing here. Now, they do it up here for the throttle body. So, you use the factory bolts there. But, you know, it's just, it's cheap. It's cheap. You know, what can you say? So, we look down the plenum. This one's not divided. The factory Ford actually has a divided plenum. The runners appear to be a little different on the Ford intake, maybe a little bigger. We flip the intake up. Now, this, the Ford intake's got this big old cover down here. But even with the cover on, you can tell that the plenum underneath is way bigger than that plenum. And I really think the Ford intake will probably run better. I really do. Um, another thing I don't like, the Dorman does these gaskets like this, and I don't really like it. I prefer the Ford. The Ford ones you put on the head, push them down, they stay. Uh, better design than these, they fall out and everything else. Not a big fan. I, I believe the port sizes are probably not a whole lot different. But in general, I really, really am impressed with Ford intake for the price difference. And that'll be the way I go from now on. I will be, I'll be buying Ford intakes. And also, also, there's something else to be said about this. I've run into thermostat issues with the Dorman intake because of the height difference here compared to this. And I've run into issues with Dorman intakes and different thermostats. And, you know, you run a factory intake, and I've actually got a brand new Motorcraft thermostat in this truck too. So it's going to have a Ford intake, Motorcraft thermostat. This truck shouldn't have any problems. Um, but really impressed. Now, one thing I will tell you, this intake... It is, I mean, that's that's kind of heavy. And this is just like, whoop, nothing to it. I mean, really, way more material on that intake. So we're going to see how it runs, see if the gas mileage maybe changes, maybe performance is different. But you can see the differences, how the runner comes up, how this is crossovers designed, the difference here. I mean, you can just tell. It's just a beefier intake. Hopefully it'll last longer than this thing. I mean, he said this thing wasn't on there for about three years, and it started leaking. So, we're trying to bypass problems. I don't know about y'all, and y'all can comment if you want to. I've had lots of problems with Dorman products. I really have become very uh, distraught with Dorman products. And I just, I try to avoid them, to be honest with you. If at all costs, I can avoid them, I do. I mean, look, I went and bought a factory Ford intake. So, let me know what y'all think.